Hey, Sean here. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit different video. I don't have my other camera set up and I wanted to go over some things on this website that I meant to make a while ago, but I have to spend really busy with other things and some videos that I, I pre-planned on doing. So I'm just gonna go over some things just to show you because I've been actually using this a lot. Um, in so Rubik's Trainer, there's a few things in here. There's a timer, uh, algorithms, recognition. And what I've been really liking is this recognition. So something like PLL, and you can work on your two-sided recognition. So what it'll show you is something here and then give you options. And you can definitely check it with those options. There's a little timer too. Looking at this, I know that this is not gonna be any A permutation. Sorry, it's not gonna be any U or H. It's definitely gonna be a Z. So we look for the Z perm and click that. Next here, I can tell this is an R permutation because that color is opposite of that color. And there we go, RB. Looking at this one now, let's see here. This looks like it's gonna be an E permutation, I believe. No, no, this is not gonna be that. Ooh, this is a tricky one. So what one is this? I, hmm. Okay, so these are gonna be matching back here, the the corners, because I can see these corners are not matching, so, but these are adjacent colors. So these are gonna be matching back here. And as far as where a bar might be, well, that's gonna be tricky because, hmm. Well, if it's gonna be a G perm, it's gonna be this one then, because those are the only, that's the only bar that's hidden. There we go. Okay. There are other things on this site, cross to F2L transition. So you can do the scramble and say how many moves are required to do a cross. So I'm just going to scramble this. If you want to do it in the video too, feel free to. And I'm not going to start the time. I'm just going to click that. So it looks like yellow cross would be what they're referring to because there's only one piece left and it's going to be two moves to do that. That was correct. Okay. Let's go back. Other things here. We have algorithms. We can go through different types of algorithms and it'll not only show it, it'll give us a scramble to set it up and then multiple solutions. So you can check that and go through it. We have a timer, which is a nice timer. Nothing super crazy. I have not actually gone through this before. This is really cool. I've seen this other places where it's just the moving image of how to do each turn. Yeah, so there is a yearly plan if you want to get a lot of the extra things in there, being able to save things. You can definitely check it out for free, but I've been asked to check this out and I should have done it a long time ago, but it's just things have gotten in the way and I want to give something to you to check it out. So Link in the description, go to it, see what you like about it. My favorite thing is the recognition because I don't need a cube. I can literally go to it, maybe open it up on my phone and just test my knowledge on different OLLs, PLLs, COLLs and figure out, good, we've got soon. And we've got that one. I think OLL is definitely much easier. Let's go to real quick COLL. And select all. And this one is right here. And this one is, ooh, ooh, actually. Okay, I know it's either gonna be this one or this one. I guess you can just check with the colors and see, okay, it's that one. Yeah, PLL is definitely gonna be a harder one of these. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Hopefully you get something out of this. Let me know your thoughts on the website. And as always, stopbyspeakcubeview.com for news and reviews.